This is the Origami Line Assistance, OLA or OLA for short. You can use this device to draw straight lines on a sheet of paper. It assists you by holding the ruler in place while you're drawing the line so the ruler doesn't wobble when you're, when you're trying to make your lines. To use the device, you simply slide the paper into a position that you want to draw a line on. Here I want to draw a line from this corner to this corner. So I'm going to position it so the corners are right at the edge of the ruler. I then rotate the device to a comfortable position to, so that I can draw the line. I hold the ruler down with my hand and draw my line. You could also use Ola to help fold a sheet of paper. For example, if I wanted to fold this sheet of paper in half, I would line the sheet of paper up with the ruler, just touching the ruler. I would rotate the device to a comfortable position for making the fold. This may be different for each individual. I like to have it folded here. This is comfortable for me. I'm going to make this line touch this line to fold the paper in half. I bend the paper around without making any creases and touch the ruler on the bottom and make sure the edges are lined up along the sides. I then wipe down to the center and wipe off to the side and we've made a very accurate fold in half. Here is a little more advanced fold you can make with all. I want to fold this sheet of paper into thirds. To do this, I'm going to, to first fold the paper in half or draw a line in the midpoint. So I'm going to start by folding the paper in half. Laying it up with my ruler, bringing the top edge down to meet the bottom edge, fold it in half. I also want to be able to see that, so I'm going to draw a line where I have that fold. Remember, my objective is to fold this paper into thirds. I now make a diagonal line that goes from one corner to the other corner. So I line it up, my ruler, move it into a comfortable position, make sure it's all lined up. And draw my line. You notice when I draw the lines that my pen is at a, about a 45 degree angle towards the ruler. Next, I want to make a line from this position to this position. I line it up with my ruler, making sure that it's lined up here and lined up here at the point and here where the line touches. And I draw a line. Now we're ready to fold the paper into thirds. Let's take a look at this. This line divides the paper into two halves. There's one half, and there's one half. This is the diagonal that divides, also divides the paper in half. One half this way, one half this way. Since this line doesn't go through the center, it doesn't divide the paper in half. However, where these two lines touch right here can be used to divide or fold the paper into thirds. Because if you go from this point 
to the bottom, straight down to the bottom of the paper, that's one third. From this point to the top of the paper, it's two thirds. Let's take a fresh sheet of paper and repeat that process. I'm going to go a little bit faster this time. I start by folding the paper in half. I draw my line where that fold is. I draw a diagonal line from corner to corner. I draw another diagonal line from where the line touches down to the corner. Remember, where the two lines cross is one-third. Now I'm going to use my special device to, to fold down one-third. I'm going to bring this in line with this point and make sure that I've got uh, squared off areas here. I'm going to make sure that it's lined up with the, the board on this white line here. And if I drew a line right through that, I would have one third. But since I want to fold it, there's a better way. I don't have to draw that line. I can simply bring the top edge of the paper down to here. And that is one third. I bring the bottom edge up to the other, where the other line is. And the paper is folded into the thirds. Let's look at the parts used to make the origami line assistant. You will need a stiff but thin mat or board. You could use an old Cricut cutting board mat. That's what I used, used here. This is a very old mat, well worn, no longer use, used for cutting on my Cricut machine, and the cover for that mat. It, it has some advantages over other types of mats. But you could also use a standard cutting mat like this. You will need a ruler that is two or more inches longer than the sides of the cutting board. To hold the mat, I will use a small cardstock rectangle. This is one rectangle right here. It is simply folded around this longer strip of cardstock. Here's the other piece. And it simply loops around and is locked in place so it doesn't come apart. It is assembled without glue. This long piece of this long rectangle is folded in a way that the ends will stop at a certain position when the ruler is in place. You simply slip your ruler into the two little loops. Slide the loops to the far edge. Line up your cover and your cutting mat and slip that into the device. and you're ready to go and make your folds. You can adjust the yarn to wherever you would like, like it to position. 
For most lines, you will want it right in the middle, so you can, you can slide your paper up and down to position it. For other reasons, you might want it at a certain position to make particular types of folds.